Hello everyone and welcome back. In the previous part of our course, we have covered the fundamentals of Next.js. Now we can use all of that knowledge to start building a little bit more advanced applications. So starting from this video, we're going to be building this application, which is called Job Tracker. And we're going to cover things like authentication, using test tech query, working with chat CN and much more. So you want to stick with me because this is going to be a little bit more advanced application compared to what we have been building previously. So let me show you what kind of application we're going to be building. Go with Sloba. So let's say that you're looking for a job and you start applying to a number of different companies to a number of different positions. Uh, so if you want to keep track of all of these applications, this kind of application could help you uh, with the management, right? So here I have created this landing page where we have this logo of job tracker and we have this title and a description of what this tool is about. Obviously, I generated all of this uh, stuff with IE. So in order to get started, obviously, we need to click on this Get Started button. Then you get redirected to login screen. Uh, you can create new account here on the sign up or you can log in if you already have an account. So I'm just gonna use social login and I'm gonna use Google for that. You need to choose one of your emails, obviously. So now we have logged in successfully and you can see this is the a dashboard that we're gonna be using. So now we're on this add job page uh, and obviously here we want to add a new job application essentially. So let's say that we wanna add new position front end company google location doesn't matter usa maybe and we just click on this create job uh, when we add new job we get redirected to all the jobs and we get this notification job created right so here we can see all the application that we have sent and uh, we can edit one of the application let's say that job status here is not pending anymore we, keep, we got declined uh, we click on edit job and we get redirected once again so also here we have this search job functionality let's say that we want to look for a uh, google company click enter and you can see that we have applied to two positions at google both of them are front end one has been declined and the other one has been interviewed so let's say that you want to delete one and this is how you can remove now we can uh, remove this search and we can get all the jobs that we currently have. And also, apart from all of this, we have one more page, which is essentially a stats page. Here we can see uh, this nice chart so that we can get nice graphical representation of all the job uh, application that we have sent throughout our job search. Apart from all of that, we can also manage our account. So if we click on our here profile image, we can manage our account. We get redirected to this new page, which is uh, being managed using the clerk and you can add these different email addresses, update your profile and whatnot. We can also toggle the team uh, using chat CN like this. And we can also optimize this for mobile devices. As you can see, if you shrink it down, you can see that we can use this menu to access these pages. And essentially this is all for this application. Uh, now let's proceed to actually start building this application and let's proceed to the setup. Okay, I have my Visual Studio code opened up and let's head over to our terminal and let's create our Next.js application. So let's run the following command, npx create dash next dash app at latest, which will essentially create latest version of Next.js. And let's give the name of this application to job dash tracker like this. Click enter. Now we will need to answer a couple of questions from Next.js. The first question is, would we like to use the TypeScript or not? So we can use yes. The next question is, would we like to use the ESLIN? So let's say no. The next question is, would you like to use the Tailwind CSS? That's yes. The next question is, would you like to use the source directory? So no. The next question is, would you like to use app router? So yes. The next one is, do you want to customize the default import? We don't. And this is essentially all. So now let's wait for the actual dependencies to get installed. And after a minute or so, our application has been successfully generated. So as you can see, we got this success message and we have created this job tracker application in the desktop. So now I can go and actually open this up. So let's go to the file and open folder. I can go to the desktop and let me open this job tracker. And inside of this job tracker application, I want to import assets folder. So if you want to get this same assets folder, you can get them on my Patreon account. But if you don't, you can find these assets on the web. So it's nothing crucial. So let me shrink down this Visual Studio code and let me copy these assets inside of this job tracker. 
and actually we want to keep it as it is here in the root folder but essentially as you can see these are just some assets that we're going to be using on the landing page so like favicon logo main png stuff like that so don't worry about it another thing that it might be useful for you is also this readme file where we have a command to install all the dependencies that we're going to be using in our project so you don't have to once again use this but if you want to get this assets folder and all the commands that we're going to be using and all the packages that we're going to be using in this tutorial you can just go and copy paste it otherwise you can install it manually line by line so essentially we are installing the clerk prisma tenstack react query dev tools for the same library dejs next themes with three charts because we're going to be using them on our chart page and at the end we're going to install the prisma so let me just copy these two lines and let me open the terminal i'll just paste command here paste the first set of packages have been installed now we need to run the second command npm install prisma and we can turn this one and now we can finally complete the installation of all of the packages and we can start running our application the good side of this is that actually we don't have to bother anymore with the packages and we can just proceed to building our application so in the terminal let's run npm run dev and we should get the localhost 3000 and we can check if we have any issues with our application so let's open the browser and let's head over to localhost 3000 and as you can see, we get our default Next.js landing page. So having this in mind, we have completed our initial project setup and we are ready to go and to start building our job management application. So see you in the next tutorial. And if you want to support my channel and get a full source code of every single video that I'm doing, feel free to check out patreon.com code with Sloba to get full access. See you there. Code with Sloba. Thank you for watching the entire video. To see more videos like this, click here.